Hello, my beautiful friends, and welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing the new Color Fluids by Hindash. I was opening some packages this morning and one of them came from Hindash. He has kindly sent me his Color Fluids in the new matte formulation. Previously, we have seen the Ultra Shimmer formula with Boy's Tears. This was his very first one, and I knew he was not gonna stop right there. So let me just show it to you. I mean, like the packaging is so beautiful. I'm trying to keep it tilted because they want to fall out. And there's different shades right here. One that is more, a little bit more of like a brown, neutral kind of tone. This shade right here is a very natural, rosy kind of tone. Then we have the orangey one and then a deeper brown tone. I'm super excited to give them a go because I need to get ready and I feel, I have the feeling that these color fluids are gonna just help me out to do an easy, easy, like immediate look and I can use it all over my face. And I really love this take from Hindash because it really spoke about his artistry. We, I mean, like, if you don't know, him, Dash is not only a makeup artist, actually, his beginnings started with painting in amazing canvases. So these type of components, honestly, just, it makes me feel, I love to paint myself, <laughs> but that is kind of like a hobby of mine. It relaxes me. And every time that I go to get some paints and olio, to me, it's just fascinating. So this is totally totally Hindash, totally Hindash. So as you can tell, I already have foundation, concealer, my brows are on, and I'm just gonna start digging in into each of these products. Starting first with the shade Carve, which is a matte tan brown. And it says literally right here, I have a little card, a little goes a long way. So I'm just gonna follow Hindash, he's the master, and <laughs> I'm just gonna follow what, what he's saying. Yeah, so I don't have, I don't have a palette here, but I think I'm just gonna use my hand. Just put a little bit right there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use a BK Beauty 109 brush. And this is the brush that I use to spread my foundation. Again, all the products will be in the description box below. And if you're new here to my channel, I do also have frequently asked questions in my description box. Oh, you see, that, that has a lot of pigment right there. And if you want to know my age, my skin type, my skin tone, foundation matches, I mean, as I have all the products. Wow, look at that. It blended so easy. And by the way, I'm filming in natural light with a 4K camera. So hopefully this will give you the best representation of all the products that I'm using today. This is so easy to blend. So I'm just going to add just a tiny bit more. And when I say a tiny, it's not, I'm not digging or picking up. And just whatever is already on the dog food applicator, I'm just putting it right here on my hand. Definitely this shade is ideal for contouring, although it doesn't have that very typical gray cast, it's a little bit more cool tone, definitely yes, but it's, again, it's not one of those shades that creates that really harsh shadow. Friends. Are you ready for the holiday season? We're here. Thanksgiving is coming up. <laughs> Holidays are upon us. It's just a countdown right now. So I'm going to be definitely creating a lot more holiday gift guides for you guys. That way, if you're looking for a perfect gift, you will find it. So stay tuned. And that being said, I want to invite you to subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring that post notification bell because you don't want to miss any of my uploads. Not only that, whenever I upload something on my community tab, it will let you know through that notification. So it is super important because that for me is the fastest way to let you know when a product is back on restock, when there's a sale going on. I mean, 
that is the best way to communicate here on YouTube. And if you are also on Instagram or TikTok, I'm also on those platforms. So if you can and if you want, come and follow me there and that way we can stay connected. But another very important thing and the most important thing for me is that use the comment section below. Let me know what you wanna see here on my channel, what you wanna see from me, what information is useful to you. Okay, honestly, this product was so easy to apply and I have a little bit, it dries down not super fast, but it dries down, I will say, in a good amount of time, so you have time to work with it. I'm gonna go with a BK Beauty A502 brush, and I'm just gonna grab just a little, little tiny amount, and I'm just gonna take it right here on my eyelids. Look at that, such an easy blend. And it does dry matte, but not not drying you know sometimes matte formulations they dry and they make you look like they age you because how drying they are these are not this your finish are more kind of like a skin like or like powder formula but non powdery at least this shade carved okay let's move on right here let's add what should we do <laughs> I'm excited. I think I want to go with this other shade called Hearties. That's such a cute name. It's a beautiful matte dusty rose pink. Oh my gosh, this as a lipstick. I'm dying. This is one of my favorite shades. Yep. This shade to me is so good as a blush, as a lipstick. Okay, let's use, let's see, I have, <laughs> I have um, a little bit of a mess here in front of me. I'm going to go with a BK Beauty 112 brush and I'm just going to tap lightly and I'm using BK Beauty brushes not only because they are amazing but also because they are synthetic brushes but they are super soft so they make the job super easy in terms of blending. Look at that. So it's a bliss. What a pretty shade. You know, this shade is your pillow talk shade. That very feminine shade that gives you the most you know, like angel like look, which is something that I honestly admire from him dash every time that he does a makeup look he has this magic to enhance the beauty of his models in the most beautiful way without changing their face it's just so his makeup is just so ethereal so well done okay there you have it, look at that. Mm. Loving this shade. I'm gonna use just a little bit more. And I'm just gonna take away here. Mm. Eyelids. This pinky shade can work amazing for those who have deeper skin tones as a nude shade for their lips. Yeah. See, like with these and a little bit of mascara, honestly, you're done. You don't need that much. Okay, let's go next for, let's go for this deep shade called Thorn. A matte dark chocolate. I'm just going to go for a little, little, little amount. I don't feel like I need a lot of these and I think I'm gonna use I think I wanna use this same Angie Hot and Flashy 502 brush I'm just gonna dab gently a very little amount because I can tell these have a ton of pigment 
And I'm just going to take it on the outer V. And I'm just going to diffuse the shade. I'm just making it a little bit of the, just deepen it all this area here. You may be wondering why I don't have a little dish or palette or a little tray. I have it. Bury it somewhere in here. Honestly, you don't want to see what I have here. I have been trying to film as much as possible. I'm not going anywhere, but it's just the season. I get really busy. Um, it just gets harder for me to, to film. This is the time of the year that I get last minute holiday parties from different companies. And it's just a very fast pace. So I just finished with my wedding season. I had my last wedding and now I'm full force with holiday parties. If you don't know, I cater events and I also do event planning. So anyhow, wow. Awesome, awesome. You know what? Let's go for this baby boys tears which i absolutely love you can definitely use just a little bit of this product apply it with your fingers and you will get more of a kind of like sheer kind of look if you want to like that so i've been super soft or you can go with a heavy type of application perhaps even applying it with a brush or just build it up and get a metallic finish now this color fluid does have shimmer so you can definitely use it as a highlighter but you will have a little bit not chunky glitters but just shimmer throughout it's so pretty do you see how it looks like if it's wet and it gives that same effect on the eyelids so sophisticated let me just show to you how to do it with say a brush and this is also by BK Beauty the 203 brush just gonna take a little bit more of this and I'm just gonna go Application. And then you can build it up just a little bit more if you want to. Simply fantastic. Okay, let's let's do something else. Okay, so I have there you go. <laughs> I was like, where do you went? Thorn. Let's go back into thorn. Again, I'm just gonna apply it on my hand. You see, this is something that when I paint. I get messy. I like to play with color shades, mixing, combining. It's just so fascinating. And this is what Hindash is bringing us. His artistry as a painter and now as a makeup artist. Just love it. Okay, let's go for a wrapper number 29 brush. And now I'm gonna take this shade and I'm just gonna you know, Oh yes, I love this shade. I'm very particular with my eyeliners, whether liquid or the gels. I don't like brown eyeliners that are too red or too close to be a black shade. I like a neutral chocolate kind of liner and this is it also can work as a bronzer for those with deeper complexions also for those of you who you're just starting back again and that thing of using makeup it happened to me too it's a lot easier to draw the liner this way than using a liner, a liquid eyeliner that comes in a 
pen or marker style. This way you have really good control. And having a precise kind of brush is also really important. Look how much time I have to work with this product. Now that it's setting, it is not taking me forever. For mascara, I'm gonna use Chantecai mascara. This is the longest lash mascara. Now let's go for the lips. Let's try first Hearties for the lips. And then using an easy brush. Oh, this color. And definitely I need a lip liner, but oh well. And these color fluids, you're gonna be able to, if you wanna mix them in and create more of like a deeper rosy tone kind of shade you're going to be able to do so and because these are matte i'm sure they are going to be long wearing too you can go ahead and apply a gloss over top if you want to make it more glossy there we have it artist love the shade go for rising which is described as a fiery orange also matte finish and oh love this shade full opacity too definitely can work also as a blush for deeper complexions too or if you apply it lightly for lighter complexions you see the amount of pigment that it carries when i just put my lips together And I'm sure the shade Carve will look amazing as a nudie tone if you are having a more intense look. This is my final look using the new color fluids in the matte formulation from Hindash. Thank you to Hindash and his team for sending me all this package over. I really, really appreciate it. And wow, these are incredible. One more thing that I want to show you. Definitely you're gonna need, if, when you take this out, these are bulletproof, like bulletproof. I will highly suggest to use a makeup remover that is more emollient. This is a wipe with just micellar water, FYI. Anyhow, my friends, I hope that you enjoyed this video, that you found it helpful. I will be leaving all the details where to find the color fluid and the entire line from Hindash on the description box below. Let me know which of these products are going to your wish list, which you're adding to cart immediately. Let's continue the conversation on the comment section down below. While you're at it, and if you haven't done so yet, I want to invite you to subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. Come and follow me on my Instagram and TikTok and give it a thumbs up share with family and friends and if you are not done watching my content i will be leaving a couple other videos right here thank you once again for watching i hope you have a beautiful wonderful day goodbye